Hey guys, Corbin from Circa 2020 here now. I was on the channel looking at maybe some things. I know I want to do another site video coming up soon, but I really want to get into something AR specific because that's the hot ticket right now. That's what everybody wants to see. And I'm actually building uh, one for my friend. Well, we're actually going to do Lego it. We're just going to snap an upper and a lower together, make sure head spacing and everything's good. Um, but on the other hand, I am building an AR pistol, seven and a half inch by five, six AR pistol might switch to 300 blackout yet. I'm not sure. Um, but it is my first piece by piece build. The only thing I did was ordered a like 80% assembled upper from grid defense. So it's a uh, hand guard, uh, barrel gas system and upper receiver shell. Um, I have my own guts and then the lower receiver, I went to uh, ATI, just got an American Tactical complete, or I'm sorry, stripped lower receiver. Now, as you can see, we got a boo-boo here. I am not too proud to say that this is my first ground up AR build. And really, as far as like putting it together, I don't really have a problem with that. What I had a problem with was the tools. Um, I did not have a good set of tools, uh, particularly punches and my cheap punch that I had split the roll pin. I didn't see it while I was hammering the thing in and it scarred up the, the lower pretty bad. Now, I went ahead with my Dremel and polished this out here. We got it in now, everything's good. Um, and then I like polished these thinking I was just gonna do like a battle worn style finish, but you know what? We're gonna paint it. Um, we're gonna paint this and I'm gonna paint the upper. I wanna do kind of a, a neat design on it. it it's a really cheap i'm gonna be into this ar pistol for no more than about 300 bucks the way i'm doing it well let's say 350 so we're gonna have some fun with it and experiment and do it together and if you guys like it maybe you can try it but i'll be the guinea pig here and uh go ahead and ruin my uh ar pistol that i'm about to build so we'll do some uh, shots i'll bring you along with while we're doing the painting but right now i'm gonna run to the store try to buy some heat specific paint or something that's gonna be real durable, real rugged, and some non-chlorinated brake clean. Supposedly that is what you wanna to use to get this thing stripped of all oil, all debris, and get it ready to paint because the non-chlorinated part won't hurt any polymer, which there is no polymer besides this trigger guard here, which I may pull out, I may paint, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see you guys in a few. We're gonna to go to the store, pick up some stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here, I got a little tripod set up just with this lower hanging down. First thing we wanna do, I am, would recommend wearing gloves, keeps your oils off of everything, but just give this thing a real good bath and brake clean. The non-chlorinated stuff, it's worth spending a little extra money to make sure you're getting the non-chlorinated, real good quality brake clean. And, you know, my idea may not have been the best because this thing's flying around, but the paint won't have, <coughs> sorry, the paint won't have near as much power behind it. So we're going to let that dry up for a second. It's real hot outside, maybe even a little too hot to paint. So I'll probably move this over to the shade. Hang on. All right. So we have decided we're going to go with this tape off to make it kind of, I don't know, some kind of cool design. And then I'm gonna do a mesh overlay for that kind of like snake skin, fish skin look. Um, the paint that we're gonna go with here is this VHT engine metallic. And I'll tell you why. This stuff is made to bite on uh, aluminum and steel and it's heat resistant. It is also very chip resistant. Now this is expensive. You're looking at 10, 11 bucks a can, but this is a burnt copper color. And then I also, after we get the whole thing sprayed, everything looks good. We pull off all the masking on this. We are gonna go ahead and they make a uh, chip and scratch resistant satin clear that we're gonna put over this whole thing. And if we like it, great. If not, I'm gonna take it over and blast it and we'll do it again. All right, we'll see you when we're spraying. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just test the uh, the spray on this piece of laminate flooring. That's gonna look kind of cool. So it does go on pretty heavy, so we are gonna have to just mist it on. Now, for the top here, over this, I wanna lay this mesh on, 
and just kind of hold it with my hand and see how this turns out. So we're gonna just lay that mesh on. And see if it did. Yeah, okay. So it did work pretty well there. Not as good as I would have liked it to back through the firearm, but it did work pretty good um, going in that direction. So now I think I'm actually going to try to keep that going over this area here as well. So I'm going to lay that on there. The tighter you can get it, the better off you are, but I don't want to tack it down for any reason or anything like that. It's okay, the bug will be okay. All right, so let's see how that turned out. That looks pretty good. But I do gotta touch it up here in just a couple places. So kind of like a misted on, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like a misted on snake skin. All right guys, Corbin from Circa 2020. I promised I'd meet you back here. It's been maybe two and a half hours since I said that I was gonna paint my lower. And learn some tactics on YouTube with some mesh layover as you saw. Um, gonna do this, people might think this is a little out of place, but when you see it on the upper, I'm gonna extend uh, the, the, the cross lines down the handrail. Now it's only seven and a half inch uh, build, so the handrail is gonna be pretty short, but we're gonna extend some of those cross, very hard line crosses going on with uh, just, I think that's quarter inch or three eighths inch uh, masking tape. But here is the finished result. Now, I probably will at some point have told you or showed you that we're using the VHT uh, driveline paint, engine tranny case paint. That has an etching material in it that really bites in. So I didn't scuff it, I didn't anything. I just brake clean and then hit this VHT material. I also had some gold. Ooh, didn't that's weird. It's not really a run, it's just where the metallic had run in a certain spot. I didn't notice that, the, the LED lights really bringing that out. That bums me out. Maybe I'll put a sticker there. Um, so I had some gold. I laid some gold in with it too. And then like hit the, the burnt copper first, then a gold mist, and then came back with the mesh and burnt copper, the whole thing. I think that looks really cool. I cannot wait to continue the, the paint on the upper. I should have the upper here maybe tomorrow, probably Saturday. I hope it doesn't take till Monday, but it might. Um, but hopefully we get the upper really soon. I can finish this up and show you guys. So about two hours it took me to take this upper from the way you see it now, down to everything but the mag release because I wanted to paint that. Um, and then put it all back together after it was painted. Uh, it's super hot, so the paint dried almost instantly. It does have a satin clear. And this paint does have a really, uh, it's really resistant to chipping and scratching, uh, the clear especially. The clear was good up to 1300 degrees and it's specifically designed to take a beating. So I'm hoping with that bite that the paint had, everything's gonna be good. So Corbin from Circa 2020, this is part one of the video. Stay tuned for part two when we get the, the upper, tear it apart right away, paint it all, and then stick it together. I think this thing's gonna look mighty fine. So. If you like it, tell me you like it. If you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. If you've had experience with painting ARs or even using the VHT, let me know because I'd love to talk to you guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.